Scottish stand-up is also an actress, playwright, author, and pub landlady. Pull us a pint. Last year, the New Zealand Comedy Guild gave her the award of Best International Guest. All she did was give him a tin of shortbread and a bottle of whiskey, my kind of girl. She's a very funny woman, and I think you're gonna love her. It's Janie Godley! <laughs> to be from Shettleson. Yes. <laughs> we come from a place where a noxo cube's a starter, but we don't care, do we? <laughs> no. I come from a place where the age expectancy is 16 and Fallujah, Iraq is 27. We're still cool with it, Glasgow. <laughs> I love Shettleson. I get married very young in Shettleson. I get married at 17. I didn't have a baby until I was 26. In Shettleson, that's infertility. <laughs> and to make matters worse, I could read. So, we can laugh at ourselves, we're Glaswegians. I get married so young, I got kerplunk as a wedding present. <laughs> You're laughing at my family. And, uh, <laughs> I know, my daughter Ashley's 24, I still give her a wee poke in the shoulder cos she hurt my hips in 1986. <laughs> Their mother's gone, get her. So guys, it's lovely to be here. I want to tell you a wee bit about myself. I have to tell you first of all, I'm a wee bit out of breath cos I was chasing McFly and I kissed them. <laughs> yes, chased them. I'm knackered, they didn't want to be kissed, but I did it cos I'm from Glasgow and that's what a real Glasgow kiss is. <laughs> Kiss McFly. <laughs> yeah, they were crying. But, uh, <laughs> they wanted their mums. I'm like, shut up and kiss me. <laughs> yeah, they won't forget me. So, uh, lovely. And um, I'll tell you a bit about myself. I'm, I'm quite old. It's, it's lovely. I've reached that age where the best feeling in the world is just taking off your bra and watching the telly in your pants, of course. Every woman here's did it. But, I have to tell you a bit about being a mother because it matters to me and everybody here who's a mommy, mommy's in the house, let me hear you. <laughs> Children in the house, let me hear you. <laughs> Shh, listen up, here's a question, it's serious. Who here ever hit their mommy? None of us. You know why? We're no crazy. Let me tell you a story. Glasgow mommies, you're having a laugh. I was in London and I saw one of those wee boys, you know the wee boys in a wax jacket and yellow cords and a pair of brogues? He was three, he looked like an MP. <laughs> and he turned to his mammy, you know those health food shops that sell couscous? I don't know what couscous is, I thought it was pasta that pensioners had spat back up. <laughs> Anywho, the wee boy turns to his mammy and goes, and he kicked her, he kicked her, and she said, Stop it, Marcus, you're making mummy unhappy. <laughs> making mummy unhappy. He does it again, kicked her, and she went, Stop it, Marcus, would you like a weak grass shot? And I'm thinking, that's the problem. Give him a pastry, that's what he needs. So then it made me think, who here would ever have hit their mummy? None of us, I'll tell you for why. Picture the scene at Shettleson. I walk down the road and I do this. Take that to my mammy. Do you know what would happen the next day? My mammy would come out and go, Oh, Janie died in a trip pan accident. <laughs> in her bed. 